How's it going guys? Welcome to the channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel, we are currently working on a aluminum block 5.3 liter LS motor to go in my 1987 Pontiac Fiero. Today we'll be installing the cam bearings uh, and for this we're going to use our 7 8 crescent wrench for using our cam bearing installation tool. We got our new cam bearings here we got a little bit of oil that we can put on the old camshaft when we test fit it to make sure all the bearings are in place correctly. Uh, old camshaft is sitting on the table over there. We won't be reusing that one. I do have a new Stage 2 Texas, uh, sorry, not Texas Speed, uh, Brian Tooley Racing uh, Stage 2 camshaft. So that'll be going in this motor here um, for the Fiero. So when you're doing cam bearings, hold on. I know I'm all over the place today, but uh, when you're doing cam bearings, your bearings are going to have a couple holes in them. Uh, I don't know why there's two. It only really needs one. I guess it's more for a universal fit, but if you look in the bearing housing, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but there are some oiler holes up on the very top here. Uh, it's actually over on the side on this one. So you want to make sure that one of those holes on that bearing lines up with one of the holes inside the uh, bearing housing here so that the camshaft can get oil and be properly lubricated. So first we're going to start with the very back camshaft bearing. Press that in and we'll move on to the rest of them. Alright, to set this up we have our cam bearing installation tool right here. Uh, the bearing sits right over this sleeve, and then you tighten this down to expand it. It'll hold the bearing firmly. And then this cone is for aligning the tool in the outermost camshaft hole so that when you're pressing the bearing in, it goes in nice and straight, and you don't get a crooked bearing in there. Um, let's go ahead and do the first one in the back, and I'll show you how it's done. All right, so you're going to want to take your tool slide it all the way through until you're right at the back one there then take your cam bearing and I got my holes marked with some black dots on either side so I know where they're at and then take your cam bearing slide it over the end of the tool here and then make sure it's up flush with the back of the tool. It is quite difficult to do from over the top like this, but I'm doing it so you guys can get a better view than I have. Then you wanna just expand your tool, tighten it up so that your bearing sits nice and flush on there and it's not going to move around on you. Let me go grab a hammer, I'll be right back. So for this I'm just going to be using a rubber mallet because you really don't need anything more than that. So I'm going to find my holes that are marked right here. I'm going to feel for my oiler hole which is right there. Line those up. Get them in place. Get my centering tool in place. Make sure everything's nice and solid, and then start gently tapping the bearing in. All right, we almost got it in. Just gonna readjust the tool, make sure it's all aligned properly. And I'm throwing wrenches on the ground. Normally you don't start doing that until you get angry, but hey, we like to have fun here. Now this is going to be a lot of check and recheck just because you got to make sure it's right aligned with the uh, oil galley. Everything's right where you want it to be. That's why I'm taking my time and doing it right. All 
All right, looks like we're right on now, exactly where we need to be. Oh. All right, let's go through and do the rest of them. Alright, now we're going to take our old camshaft, not the new one that's going in the car, but the old one. We're going to lube up all the bearing surfaces. My oil is running out of oil. I have to put some more in there after this video. Alright. Run those around, make sure there's plenty of oil on this. We don't want to mess up our new bearings. And then we're just going to test fit it by sliding it in there. Making sure it goes in nice and smoothly. Alright. It's in. Spins nice and smooth. I just don't have a good hold on it. All right. And that's going to be it for putting in those cam bearings. Next up is actually to put in the cam itself, not the old cam, but the new cam. Sorry, I'm just triple checking to make sure everything's spinning right. And make sure there's no bad surfaces on the bearings that I might have to clean up. As you can see there with the little grip I have on it, it's wanting to slide all around. Smooth surfaces, don't like to stay in place. I'm going to go ahead and take this one out of here. And I'll go grab the new one and get it ready to be put in. Alright, and that's going to be it for installing the cam bearings on our 5.3 liter LS. Uh, it's pretty simple as long as you got the right tools. And if you do end up burring one of the bearings, you can take a Dremel with a very soft grinder and uh, kind of grind down the burr, or you can just replace the bearing with another one. Uh, I recommend replacing it because any damage to the bearing might cause damage to the camshaft and cause further problems down the road. Um... In the next video, we'll probably be putting in the main bearings and the crankshaft, but until then, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.